How did you like doing that TV commentary for ESPN during uh, Anaheim 2? You know, it was actually, it was pretty cool. You know, um, it's it's kind of funny because you gotta watch what you say because it's not like they can like take it and edit it out because this basic it's not live but it's pretty close to being live. They, they're not gonna re-edit it. So uh, a lot of things are just had to shut up. Like, but, yeah. Mm, oh. During that race, was it difficult for you to sit up there while commentating, watching the race, and not being on the starting line? Uh, you know, not as bad. I mean, nah, I, I keep counting down the days until I got a race, so it's not as bad. But if we was watching the East Coast, I would say that was Houston, and I was sitting up there doing that, I, I wouldn't be up there. I wouldn't go. What do you think about the AMA's new penalty system? I mean, I think it's cool. I mean, as long as they don't follow me, I think it's really cool. <laughs> In your opinion, was that a 10-point hit that K-Dub put on, on BB? No, I was... I was thinking maybe like nine and a half, but not not ten, no, not ten. Ten's too much. No, actually, I, I would like I wouldn't say like I would have done the same thing, but I probably would have done exactly the same thing. Yeah. Buzz Creek, that second moto when you crashed in the starting gate and had to go through the entire field. How many points do you think the AMA would have deducted from you if that uh, system was in place back then? Oh, uh, dude, <laughs> where the TV camera didn't shoot, uh, it'd have been. I mean, I might as well just pull off the track because I would have been docked the whole race. <laughs> This year is going to be the first year you're going to race Daytona. And what do you think about being run at night this year instead of the normal day program? I, I'm, I was looking forward to the day uh, just because, you know, like, it would feel like I'm in my backyard riding. You know, um, you know, I got like a small sand track, but it's just, it's, it's different. Because you go to every Supergirls race you go to is at night. And I, I like, because nighttime's bubble time, so I like that. But I, I, I just kind of feel like, you know, I wish it was in the daytime. It would have been nice. And uh, after watching the two-stroke struggle on the West Coast, are you confident that your KX125 is up to the challenge on the East? Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt about it. And I got, you know, Rick Ash, you know, he's been putting so many hours in the dining room, and I, my bike's actually faster than it was last year, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What do you think about the 250s so far this season without RC, or do you think Reed and, and Kato are setting good pace up front? Yeah, I think, you know, I think Kevin and, you know, Chad, I think they got awesome paces going. And, uh, I think once, you know, I come up next year and then Ricky come up, I think it's going to be really interesting. I, I think hopefully, you know, hopefully I can win. But, you know, I, I think, you know, when Ricky come back, he'll be determination. You know, he wants to win again. And then, you know, Chad will be, if, if he does good this year and he wins his title, he'll be like, all right, I want to prove to these guys that I'm the best. And I'll be coming up and I'm like, I'm going to jump the whole track. So it's it's on like Donkey Kong. So, so you're looking forward to oh, yeah. the next Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even worried. I'm ready.